everyone. We hope you're well. We continue to miss you every day um, and we can't wait to open and see you all again. Um, we are continually looking at new ways where we can connect and bring you lots of things to do at home. And I know so many of you have been really following Joe's Forest School and the activities you've been doing are incredible. So we thought we would do some campfire cooking. Now, Elodie made a pretend campfire in her playroom and it looked lovely. And mummy said you were missing Forest School. And I know that Forest School cooking is a huge part of every single session that we do. So we thought we would bring you pizza wraps, which is a firm favourite at Forest School with adults and children. I've done it for holiday club cooking as well. So children up to the age of 11 have always really enjoyed it. Um, us adults, we always have a go at making them with the children. So we're always doing things alongside and they're really fun to make. Now, we are fortunate that we have three separate Forest School sites. Two of them have... Um, really quite big fire pits so we would we would use the fire pits to cook these however um back at the setting we have cooked them before as well if we ever have to use our outside area and lauren often does hot um snacks for the babies using the oven so you don't need a fire pit to do these you can cook them on the barbecue you can cook them on the oven or you can cook them in the fire pit it's entirely up to you so they're really versatile and you can do them on a variety of different days. So I will pass over to the ingredients and we will take a look at how we can start making our campfire pizzas. So here we have all of the ingredients for our pizza wraps. Um, first of all, we have the wraps. I love using the smaller wraps, especially for children, because they can use them themselves. And that's a really important part of our food ethos at Simba's all the way through, but particularly um, at Forest School, where we're teaching children to um, be involved in the preparation of their food. Um, obviously, with older children, adults, you can use the bigger wraps. Um, and some children might be able to handle the bigger wraps, or you can cut the bigger wraps in half. So, you know, and anything goes, really. Um, I have put a plate of different things out here with six different variety of toppings and also some pizza sauce. Now you can use a combination of anything for your pizza wrap and I would just say that, you know, with children it's really good to model trying new foods but not to push it too much let them naturally select what they like and what they don't like. Just like us as adults we have things that we prefer to not. I have one child who really doesn't like the pizza sauce, so they would probably opt for more of the cheese and ham and sweet corn. And I have another one that quite likes the tomato sauce, so she would probably try the tomato sauce as a first base for her pizza. But absolutely anything goes. We are at the end of our week in terms of our food shopping, so this is what we've kind of got left over. So I've got tomato, sweet corn, grated mozzarella, ham, pineapple, and we have got red onion. The pizza sauce is a real cheap pizza sauce. It's just the ready-made pizza sauce. Um, so, but you can use any combination of any kind of tomato topping that you like. Again, it's whatever you fancy. So Tallulah is here and she is gonna make and choose what she would like for her pizza wrap. We've got some tin foil, which is gonna pop it on because after that we will um, use it um, to wrap it up and that's how that's what we cook it in. So what are you going for today, Tallulah? So I'm going to have a wrap with some tomato sauce. Yeah. Also, for my toppings, I'm going to have some cheese, ham and sweet corn. Cheese, ham and sweet corn. Okay. If you had a child that you were trying to really encourage, especially a younger child at the age of two, to try new foods, um, if they usually would only opt for two ingredients, I probably wouldn't put six out. I'd put three or four out because not to overwhelm them. Some children are more likely to use stuff if they are using, um, if they, if, if foods are separate, then they're more likely to. So, you know, it, how you display foods for children, I think is really important. You can, you can take this outside in the forest. We only ever, um, prepare our food outside. You know, we've brought it in today just for video purposes because it's a bit easier on this surface, but you can prepare it wherever you like. And pop all your toppings on. Is that you done? Yeah. So then Tallulah's quite skilled. Tallulah's been making pizza wraps since you're about two, haven't you, Tallulah? Yeah. So <laughs> you know exactly what you're doing. So you're going to wrap it all up now and then wrap it in the foil. I always find quite a big piece of foil is good so that if you can double wrap the um, pizza wrap, then it just shields it from the fire. 
and then we can leave it to one side and that is ready for our fire pit so we can either um, pop it straight on and cook it straight away or we can leave it for a little while and we're going to prepare the fire this afternoon aren't we Tallulah? Yeah. So here we are, we're now at the fire pit, we have just lit the fire, um, we have um, borrowed the forest school fire, so this is quite a big fire pit, you wouldn't need one this big to do a few pizza wraps. As you can see at the moment it's quite high, um, which is what you want to begin with, but you wouldn't cook on the flame being this high for the pizza wraps, so what we'll do is we'll wait for the flame to die down and when the embers turn red that would be perfect for cooking. Um, having this grill here gives us real good manoeuvre because you can have it higher or lower depending but some fire pits just come with a um, a grill that doesn't move that's absolutely fine as well but just wait until the flames are um, completely gone until you put your pizza wraps on because they only need warming they don't need cooking um, it's just so the cheese melts and there's a very fine line between them being hot and melted when they're burning so we'll report back when the embers die down and when our pizza wraps are on the fire. So we're at the stage now where our pizza wraps are nearly ready. It might be really hard to see in the video, but you can see the um, tin foil just goes a slight brown colour. That's kind of a really good outer signal that, you know, they're getting towards the point where they're ready. Some might prefer theirs a bit crispier than others, but we like ours quite, um, quite soft and melted in terms of the wrap. So we're going to take ours off now and start to eat them. Lula, are you ready to open your yeah. pizza wrap? Go on then. So we've let them cool for a few minutes um, before letting them open the wraps. Usually if they were younger we would open them for them. What's it like Tallulah? Does it feel nice and warm? Yeah. Yeah? Are you going to open it? Are you going to take a bite then and let us know what it's like? Yummy. Yeah. <laughs> so there's our pizza wraps. 